is just starting to feel a little bit like fall, so I was in the mood to plant up a basket of mums. Here I've got all colors here. I've got pink, orange, yellow, reds. They're really tightly budded still, and that's okay, because as soon as we get a couple of cooler nights, they're really going to open up and just be covered with flowers. I think I'm going to start my basket with maybe a yellow mum, just because it's still early in the season. It's bright and cheery. And like I said, this mum will start to really open up and show a real pop of color in this basket. So I'm going to put this right up in front. I don't know, though. Something feels like it's missing. I don't know if I just want to plant all mums in here. or. Well, if you want to do something different, you could always put in a mum buddy. So I have two little heathers here that bloom in the fall would go great in your basket. Oh, Kev, I love these. Okay, these are perennial, right? These are perennial heathers, correct. But they still make a great mum buddy. Fantastic. I yeah. love it. A little mum buddy is exactly what I needed. Thank you. I'm going to go with the more pink heather. All right, I think that will look perfect right up here in front, close to the yellow. Kel, what have you got for me? I've got some more friends. These are cabbage, and I've got a couple colors here. Okay, great. So another perfect mum buddy. This is cabbage, um, definitely a fall plant. I'm going to go with the purple veined one because I think that will really fit with the heather that Kevin just gave me. I'm going to put that one right in here. And then I still feel like it's missing something now. I just feel like I need a little hey, bit more. Hey, Daisy, how about this little mom buddy? The celosia or the corobel? Oh, I love these. So I think I'm going to go with the more vibrant celosia. So are she? Color. Yes, <laughs> perfect. Okay, this will really, I think, really complement with the yellow mum here. I need just a little bit more soil to kind of pop this one up in the center. But I think this will look gorgeous. And the celosia will get a little bit taller, too, right in the center of the basket. But I still need a little bit more. It's not quite complete. You could always add some more height, too, with an ornamental pepper. We pulled, like, a yellow one and a dark leaf one. Oh, sure. I, the peppers, that's really yeah. clever, buddy. Really unique. Yeah. I can't believe these are both peppers. They're so I different. Know. They look so different, but they both make good mum buddies. I think I need the yellow to go with my yellow mum. Thank you, much. Kevin. Yeah. Look at this. The basket is looking so much nicer now. But I still have one more spot. Daisy, I've got a couple more buddy options for you. Nice. Uh, this is millet, or we have a salt and grass. Okay, so the millet is really cool, but I think it's a little too big for my basket, so I'm going to go with the fountain grass. Perfect. Oh, this is great, you guys. I love this. The basket was looking a little plain with just the mums, although mums really are awesome for the fall. So now I'm just going to add one more little buddy. This is the ornamental fountain grass, and that is perfect. You guys, thank you so much. You are absolutely right. Adding little buddies to the chrysanthemum is a perfect fall container, and it really is just everything done together. It's just so much nicer. Thanks a bunch. See you next time.